So today we're going to vlog a leg day. I think Meg has actually charged the battery up, so it's ready to go. We did actually plan to do this the other day, but all plans have failed. And today we actually have got a, a big squat day. We all plans failed because of Smeg. She was uh, pretty pretty useless. Uh, but anyway, today we have got our Cybex hack day on the agenda. Um, definitely exciting. The leg days have gotten a lot more challenging now as the next session, which I will also film, we are reintroducing the safety sub the safety squat bar. Uh, I do have the Kabuki safety squat bar and that is so so good it's super hard as well so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into it and I'm looking forward to showing you all um, the new leg day which is uh, it's quite it's quite it's gonna be quite hard uh, it's basically starting off with leg curls and then it's all the squats all the split squats and leg presses so looking forward to it but without further ado time to begin the leg day so see if we can uh, hit a big big cyber squat pr confident confident i had a good night's sleep feel good all is going good so let's see what we can do uh, comment below if you think i can hit uh, six and a half plates or seven plates depending on what i do today for more than 10. so i'll see some comments below and obviously like share subscribe and all that good fun stuff i'll see you in the gym guys so, for every session, obviously, our pre-session mobility, we actually have two different kind of warm-up mobility uh, sets. Obviously, a type form before our kind of upper body sessions, and then a type for our lower body sessions. Obviously, it's individual to us as to what we do, um, and kind of the niggles and bits that need activated but for our sessions and for us obviously you know myself and Cuba we have very similar weak points being predominantly the the back and then the glutes and hands so our kind of warm ups are based around obviously activating those obviously the, the upper and pulse sessions slightly different obviously getting that little bit of shoulder mobility and stability before we actually start our sessions it's just what helps keep us fresh Neither of us have had an injury for a, quite a long time. Um, so I think that keeping on top of things like this is obviously really important. Obviously with the heavy poundage that we both do, obviously put through our bodies. Um, it is needed to if you are a bodybuilder and you don't do that, you need to do that. Um, it's super important. I think speaking to kind of professionals like physiotherapists, kind of chiropractors, etc., they can help with new ones that are individual to you um, or uh, an osteopath, etc., they can all help with that. So just make sure that you've got something individual to you, super important. You can really look through kind of socials and get some good ideas and stuff like that. Obviously, Cuba's coach helps with. Um, giving him specialised programmes of watching the pre-session as well based upon his obvious kind of weak areas as well so uh, obviously no switch fitness Luke, Luke Miller obviously helps with that too alongside other things that he has actually learned and that's him rolling around in the background I'm just doing that I've talked shit now for about two minutes so I'm going to let him do the time on that Mind telling me about my residence Like I couldn't give a green light and leave no evidence Ah, oh, please in the Louis, ways in the Dewey Skeleton Kylie, so I can see through See these levels to this pretty shit on me I'm talking to you So we've got a big squat day. 
How you feeling for it? How are you feeling for it? Well, that's fun. I'm nervous. It's fun. Huh? I'm nervous. I feel nervous. Do it. Let's go. Yeah. I'm spot. I'll spot, I'll spot. Yeah. Here we go. Just let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Let it roll. Let it roll. Let it roll. I've got my hands in the Do you want me to take them out? Yeah, take them out, take them out, take them out. Take them out, take them out. When I do a set, after the first three reps, take, take three. both my headphones out, yeah? Just after the first three, though. Once I'm past the first three, yeah. I don't need them, then you're gonna have to talk to me, yeah? Let's go, come on! Here we fucking go! Come on! Two, two minutes, two minutes! Variation. Obviously, you'll do one set on there. Um, obviously, one set every 10 days. Got to make sure that it's worth it. Um, and that's what we all did. So, super exciting. Now, we're going to move on to leg press. I think this is the first session that Cuba's felt super like fiery. Like, he's got a lot of effort into his kind of concentrics, which is really exciting. Obviously, he's had a good week, so he's felt a little bit shit. He's obviously covered that on his last YouTube. But yeah, he's about to heal the leg press. Cuba's on the pre part, and so he's Mark, um, and I'm on the little old uh, hammer thread. Let's go. Come on then. Let's go. Come on. 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 Come on
What is up guys? I hope you enjoyed me absolutely trashing myself on my leg session. So I was actually 20 pounds down in that exact session uh, since the last rotation I did with the Cybex hack. So as you can imagine, it was definitely a little bit of a task for me to actually be able to hit what I had to hit, but nevertheless, I still managed to progress and hit what I had to hit, which is obviously always a success when you manage to perform the way you need to, especially in not the best of circumstances whilst going through what I would call a sharp, rapid, fatless phase. But I will touch a little bit more on this in a separate video and that will be captioned how I lost 25 pounds in 27 days. Or was it all the way around? No, it was actually, that was, that was the one, wasn't it? Yeah, so basically it will be how I lost 25 pounds in 27 days. Um, or whatever, whatever it actually is. I can't remember the top of my head, but that is that is something to be exact. So, please share, like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, support the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to bringing more content very, very soon. Uh, a little bit of a short one, but I will do another update, and a full-on, full-on off-season slash current update, with a physique update as well for you all, probably sometime next week. So, for now, Thank you guys, take care and peace.